This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Hey guys and welcome to All About Linux. Today, I'll be testing and comparing the CPU, GPU and RAM performance of three lightweight, newly released Ubuntu distros, Zubuntu, Lubuntu and Ubuntu Mate 21.04. Zubuntu is sporting the XFCE desktop, Lubuntu is sporting the LXDE desktop, and Ubuntu Mate is sporting the Mate desktop, as its name suggests. My test PC is sporting an AMD Ryzen 5 2400G CPU, an AMD Radeon RX 590 with 8GB of GDDR5 VRAM and 16GB of DDR4 2666MHz RAM. Let's see how they perform against each other. Starting with a game of War Thunder, with the graphics settings set to 1080p and a high preset, Zubuntu scored an average frame rate of 75.5fps, 1% loss of 46.8fps and 0.1% loss of 36.9fps. While on Lubuntu, frame rates are significantly higher with an average frame rate of 94.3 FPS, 1% loss of 55.4 FPS, and 0.1% loss of 41.6 FPS. Ubuntu Mate had the lowest frame rates of the three, with an average frame rate of just 61.7 FPS, 1% loss of 40.7 FPS, and 0.1% loss of 30.5 FPS. Lubuntu 21.04 definitely wins this round. However, I would say that Zubuntu's map was the most intensive to render due to the sheer amount of trees, water, grass and the heavy downpour going on. Unfortunately, I am unable to select the same map for all three distros in War Thunder. Next, I played a round of arms race for each version in CSGO. With the graphics settings set at 1440p auto, average frame rates for Zubuntu were at 58.5 FPS with 1% loss of 27.1 FPS and 0.1% loss of 17.6 FPS. On Lubuntu, average frame rates were slightly worse at 55.2 FPS and 1% loss were at 24.0 FPS and 0.1% loss were at 13.3 FPS. Ubuntu made, made a comeback this round with an average frame rate of 76.0 FPS, 1% loss of 40.4 FPS, and 0.1% loss of 31.3 FPS. Ubuntu made 21.04 wins this round with quite a lead. In an online round of Trap Million Nations Forever, a Windows game running with Proton 6.3, Zubuntu scored an average frame rate of 101.0 FPS, with 1% loss of 74.2 FPS and 0.1% loss of 57.9 FPS. Lubuntu's frame rates were slightly higher, with its average frame rate at 105.6 FPS, 1% loss at 77.6 FPS and 0.1% loss at 60.2 FPS. Ubuntu made Scott significantly lower again though, with an average frame rate of 90.3 FPS, 1% loss of 63.7 FPS and 0.1% loss of 49.2 FPS. Overall, Lubuntu 21.04 wins this round. By the way, if you like this video, do consider hitting the subscribe and like button. Next, I did some tests to find out about the RAM usage for each distro. It should be noted that these RAM usages include that of the screen recorder, simple screen recorder. When idle, the RAM usage of Zubuntu was the lowest at 1.4GB, while both Lubuntu and Ubuntu Mates were at 1.5GB. Opening the start page of Firefox, which is the default start page for Zubuntu and Lubuntu, and the Ubuntu Mate start page for Ubuntu Mate, RAM usages increased by 0.2GB on Zubuntu and 0.3GB on both Lubuntu and Ubuntu Mate, to 1.6GB, 1.8GB, and 1.8GB respectively. Playing one of my latest videos on YouTube, all three distros RAM usages increased by another 0.3GB, finishing the test at 1.9GB, 2.1GB, and 2.1GB respectively. Zubuntu 21.04 seems to be the lightest on RAM and wins this round. Finally, in the Geekbench 5 test, the results were really close, with Ubuntu scoring just 1 point more than Zubuntu in a single core test and Zubuntu scoring 21 points more than Lubuntu in a multi-core test. I would say Zubuntu 21.04 wins this round with its lead in the multi-core test. So, in conclusion, I think the winner for this test is tied between Zubuntu and Lubuntu 21.04, with Zubuntu winning the RAM usage and Geekbench 5 test and Lubuntu winning the War Thunder test, while Ubuntu Mate won only the CSGO test. Now, I would like to talk about today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. 
Surfshark VPN protects your privacy and security online, unblocks geo-restricted content like certain Netflix libraries, with features that is ultra-fast 3200 plus servers in 65 countries, industry-leading encryption, ad blocker, and many others. It works on an unlimited number of devices, from Android and iOS to Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, to Chrome and Firefox extensions. Best of all, you can get Surfshark VPN today for the first 3 months free, then 81% off for just $2.49 per month. Do head over to surfshark.deal slash all about Linux and get Surfshark today. Thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Do let me know if you have any suggestions for things or games to test in future videos. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next video.